this month of October made it 60 years of Nigerian independence. So there is a mindset I want us to use to continue this country after 60 years. One of the mindsets is that we have to add some extra meaning to some of the popular quotes that our politicians have used to justify their actions. One of the quotes is, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Our politicians don't seem to get the message in that statement. So the new quote we'll be using from now that Nigeria is 60 years and, they, and going forward is that power corrupts, is that power corrupts depending on how stupid you are. Absolute power corrupts absolutely depending on your level of stupidity. We must that add that stupidity so that our politicians will understand that the statement is not a justification for them to become corrupt when they achieve a position of power. Politics is a dirty game when it's played by foolish men. Only a foolish person will play politics as a dirty game. Because Nigerian, when they rig election, they will tell you that politics is a dirty game that is universally accepted. It's written by white people even. That is how they justify themselves. That's how their supporters use as, using arguments to debate politics. But I want us to be debating politics as people in the 21st century. So we will, tell, we will be saying that it is only a foolish man that plays politics as a dirty game. When we look at it, we must be able to create a mindset that will make people so ashamed they cannot be corrupt. They cannot embezzle public or, or mismanage the government. This is the mindset we need to create. We create a mindset that makes them show that we have no respect for people who are not doing something that is contributing positive to the good of our country. Why, do you, why would somebody want to be a politician? If you are a politician, the purpose of politics is to contribute positively to the progress of your country and to humanity in general. If your politics is not contributing to the positive of your country and for the good of humanity in general, you're not playing politics, you're being stupid. You're a stupid human being. In fact, contributing positively to one's country is one of the highest level of self-respect. And being a politician whose policy and ideology does not contribute pos positively to your country is one of the highest level of, of self-degradation. You are the lowest level of human being to be in that position of power and take actions and make policies that will not profit your country and humanity in general. Then you are the lowest level of human being. That's exactly what you are. This is how the mindset we need to use and look at these people. In Nigeria, we normally use this kind of mindset to look at homosexuals. We say homosexuals are the lowest human beings. They don't have a, a self respect Even animals do not do what they do. They are lower than animals. It's a lie. Homosexuals are not lower than animals. The only people that are lower than animal, animals are the politicians who are not contributing positively to the good of the country and for the general good of the humanity. They are the only people that look, because even animals are not that stupid. Even animals are not that stupid. So we must be able to channel our aggression into the right places where it can be productive. This is, the, my, this is how I want us to go from now, that, from this month of Nigeria being 60 years of independence. 60 years. A 60 year old man is an old man, oh. he's over experienced. We are old enough to make proper decisions, to have the right mindset. And this is the mindset we must have. We must attach these surfaces to this statement so that they will understand that power corrupts depending on your level of stupidity. Absolute power corrupts absolutely depending on how stupid you are. Only a fool plays politics as a dirty game. This should be our next mindset from now on. Let these people that have no self-respect not assume position of power and start abusing us just because they have no self-respect. And they expect us to respect them. We are not supposed to respect people who don't have self-respect. Self-respect, the lowest way of disrespecting oneself 
is to be a politician and not contribute positively for the good of your country.